house for kids. I I'm your host, host Liam. Catchphrase. No, then. Then get ready. Five, six, seven. I'm your host, Liam. Welcome to Mom Cats Cats for Kids. I'm your host, Rihanna Schomer, and this is Liam Schomer. He already said his name, but if you didn't hear, I'm Liam Schomer, the awesome one. So, um, this is a football, football shaker, shaker that my dad these? got sent. Can you sell these? Yes. He got sent and to. First. We get before we get started. We would like to advertise um, my dad's store. This is one of the cups you can get from it. <laughs> buy it now. That's so embarrassing. My friends may be watching it. Who knows? Buy it now. Okay. Um, this is the football shaker that. Wait, do you sell this? No. Okay. No. So my dad got sent this football shaker from some company, and um. It's but just like a regular shaker, except it's in the shape of a football. Yeah. And it's a lot harder to get ice into, but it's really cool. So if you have like a Super Bowl party yeah. or yeah. something, yeah. go find whatever this is. Um, so we're gonna be making a drink that my mom made up, actually. Mama. Um, Mama. We're gonna double Mama. it, and it's it tastes like a chocolate covered coconut. So it has coconut. So. Um. First, you're gonna do four ounces of milk. Oh, oh, geez, that looks like baby love. Is that a sale? Oh, oops. Was it? Was it? If it was, woo! When do we use the orange juice? That was four ounces of milk, so if you didn't hear, four ounces of milk. And then it's going to go to an ounce of white cream de cacao. Creme de cacao. Creme de cacao. So you're going to need an ounce Don't of this. Don't squeeze. Use fees. Remember, this is a doubled. Oh, that was bad. Don't squeeze. Use fees. So this is a doubled recipe. Don't squeeze. Use fees. Um, because if you want to make drinks for parties, you can't make a serving for this little person. Um, and then you need um, this. This is the whole point why we're shaking it. You need to shake this um, cream of coconut because when you just mix it, it doesn't really mix in and it just ends up with syrup at the bottom of your drink. But if you shake it, well, then it mixes it. Have you seen Frozen? Oh, it's so cute. It looks like a little unicorn. I love it. I love it even more. Okay, so um, make sure that you shake this ingredient, um, this ingredient in any drink that you use. It's very sticky and sticks to your measuring cup, so just scrape it all out. What is it? Don't worry, I washed it with my mouth. Okay, so that's out. Oh, Sorry. I need to twist it somehow. I love that stuff. Mm. All right, now put the top on, my man. That tastes like ice. Cocoa milk. Ice. I'm sorry. That tastes like gum. All right, Cocoa we're gonna have to try to squeeze some ice into this. This should be. Remember when he was smashing my hammer? Remember when he was smashing the hammer? And we got the big to get the milk today. Out. All right. Hold on. Twist it so it fits in. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> I'm so smart! Did you see that? Woo! <laughs> so this one won't work. Oh squeeze. Ew. Ouch! <laughs> oh Alright, that's about two ices. Ices not is not a word. Whatever. Yes. We're not in school, but it's so nice. We can. Uh -huh. Sorry for people in Kutakana. They always have school. I get to shake it too. Yeah! <gasps> oh. Ha! That's why this is here. You can't shake it like this, you gotta hold the top. Let's see. Ready? And this is the holder, it's like a football. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. 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 
class? Oh yeah. Wait, you want to do that? Yeah, whatever. Get your hands in there. That's good. Just glass. put it in the glass. No, no, no. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just Make it if you're not a big fan of coconut because you really get that um coconut this kind of flavor from the coconut. It's it's really hard to explain. You know, um like um what's it called? What's it what's that um really um, bitter juice? Grapefruit juice. Cream of juice, you know how people call that bitter and people call lemonade sour? The coconut Shake. um cream of coconut just doesn't Shake. have a word for it. Awesome. It's called tart, not bitter. So you get that oh, nice wow, feeling weird. from the coconut. It's kind of a little texture thing too. Not smelling it, audience. But and um, the milk mm -hmm. you get kind of as an aftertaste. Tastes like eggnog. And the, the syrup. Eggnog. And the syrup. You get a kick from that in kind of the middle. After you swallow, right after you get this, and then you, you get the milk. You can really taste the right when you when right when it goes in your mouth, you get this. It's amazing. So yeah, I really no suggest we that you try, I really suggest that you try this because it's a really refreshing drink. You so if you're like months ever months. on a hot day or something, and you're just you just want something to like refresh you, we have then take two things. Stop talking. You take the this drink. You drink it. You, it's amazing. And uh, <laughs> the taste is great. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's a really good drink, and but if you're not a big fan of coconut, um, I wouldn't try it. And we might. Where, where do you get that coconut and that Sea Brother stuff? Oh, we got this stuff from my daddy's store, but we didn't buy it. Oh, shh. What store is that? Awesome drinks. Oh yeah. Dot com. I seriously, this whole basement is full of boxes and glasses, and there's a whole closet mm -hmm. full of ice cube trays. Squishy, hard, whatever. It is just wow. And they sell like Fee Brothers and Bitters and all that. Um, and if so, yeah, if you but I just want to say one thing. If you want to get the hiccup hiccups away, take some bitters and put it on a lemon, and then bite no, into the lemon, lime. and then it's pain. Trust me, I've done it before. It tastes terrible, but what it works. works. Um, so the question this of the reminds day. me of I don't pan a lot of and the question milk. of the day is um is it for me? Yeah. Oh. No, I'm just holding it out. The question of the day That's why it reminds you of that egg milk like is me. Hey Liam, what's the question of the day? <clears throat> what size is your Christmas tree? How tall is your Christmas tree? Ours is about 10 to 11 feet. Um, we haven't put it up yet. We just got it today. Um, but that's probably not a good thing to say because if you watch this a week after the recording, it's not going to be great. So our Christmas tree is about 10 to 11 feet tall. Um, it's really, really fat. And we have a ceiling that goes high to the sky upstairs and it's just you could fit like two 11 feet Christmas trees. Oh, okay, maybe not, but I'm exaggerating here, but still. Um, so how tall is your Christmas tree is the question of the day for today. And um, again, I'm sorry that we haven't done mock tales in a while for all of our fans that keep subscribing and liking us. Um, and this cup is for sale too. And keep, um, go to dad's store. And keep oh, enjoying dance. our shows. I'm very sorry for how late awesome drinks these on. have to come out. But um, we promise that we'll try to do them as much as we can. And um, we still have Set a few more drinks that we're going to make. And so that will really work. And so there's, yeah. yeah. Later. Good night, New York City. Good night, pimples. Oh. Okay. Are we done? Ah! I'm a unicorn. Oh. Done. Um.